Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to Planet Coaster and this is Hysteria Valley and this is part 19. So this is a park we've been building for around about the past year. Um, I've, had a, I've had a little bit of time off due to the studios pack uh, but I think it's about time to get back into this park. Um, so if you haven't done so already, please check out some of the other videos from this series. There's a dedicated playlist here on the channel uh, and all the videos um, from this park from the first creation of the entrance plaza to where we are today is available to view right now um, so let's get into today's video so what we are doing is uh, expanding on a brand new area that we started in the last episode where we put in a drop tower uh, and then just to the right of that we are building this little lake area here um, as I didn't really have a relaxing area in the park yet. We've done like um, a board war, we've done like a pirate theme, we've done a coaster, we've done the entrance bit. Um, so I just wanted to get a sort of relaxing nice sort of uh, lake type area in. So I'm just putting this path towards the side of the lake. This can be a nice branching pathway off to a future area. Um, so I just want to get the foundations for that in before we get building. Um, then what we put inside the lake is uh, actually using one of the boat rides that was added in the uh, adventure pack. Um, so it's just a nice gentle boat ride around the lake. Uh, imagine like a swan boat or like your Mark Twain kind of style ride, but it's on a smaller scale. Um, it's also going to be used as a transport ride. Um, so I'm putting two stations in, one at this side where you can see just here, and then one at the other side of the lake. So it's not the biggest uh, lake in the world, but I mean, it, hopefully, once we get the guests in the park, they'll start using it um, more for transport than anything else. So that's what we're doing. It's got a very loose pirate theme. Um, and we do already have a pirate area in the park, so I didn't want to go too mental with pirate theming. Um, but it kind of is it, its own individual theme for this ride. Um, so let's talk a little bit more about Hysteria Valley for any new, uh, any people who are new to this uh, build and this park uh, or new to the channel. Um, so firstly, hello, welcome. This is Hysteria Valley. So generally the idea of it is it's going to be... Um, a park that's got a, a kind of budget in mind, so you're not talking a Disney Universal style budget here, um, you've, but you've got sort of more budget than, say, your Alton Towers. So it's somewhere, it sits somewhere in between those two, um, is, is what I would say the best example is. Um, the backstage areas and, and certain aspects of the park I have purposely made a little bit janky. Um, as some of these kind of, these kind of parts would be, there'd be little things wrong. Fences would be a bit skew. There'd be a few broken elements here and there. So I'm trying to make it uh, and trying to put realism in there as well. Um, so like I said, if you if you look back through the playlist, you'll see all the all the steps up till now, and you'll see all the little bits and pieces that we've put in this part. There's some quite unique things that not many I've not seen any many other people do with Planet Coaster as well. So it's, it'd be quite interesting if you if you are interested to watch them, to watch them all from the start to the end. Uh, it's it's, a, it's quite a long playlist at the moment as this park has been going on for about a year on and off. Um, so yeah, it generally is a budget conscious park with um, some good themed areas. We've already started, like I mentioned earlier, on a pirate theme, which is quite a intense theme. Um, so do check that, that out. Uh, it's called Shantytown, so do have a look at that if you get a chance. Um, uh, and then on, onwards, we're going to build in uh, loads of little other themes areas around as well. Um, it's still relatively a new project, even though I've been doing it for a while. Um, it's been a lot of spending time on the things we've been doing rather than just slapping down loads of quick stuff. Um, I mean, this today is probably the quickest build the whole park has seen just because it was relatively simple to get this in. Um, relatively simple theme, and that was kind of what I was going for. With it's just something to fill that area in the lake. It, like a filler attraction, as you do get in these kind of parks. Um, and like I said, the main uh, the main reason for this is that lake, as I wanted there to be a lake and a focal point. But there's a couple of little islands on the lake that I'm going to put a bit of theming on. Nothing too big, just a bit of foliage, a bit of light theming. Uh, mainly for when you're on this boat ride, so you'll see that as you go through. Uh, and obviously that path that goes off to the right, just there, that takes you past the lake, is the main reason we've done this. So that's going to branch off into the next, uh, well, one of the next themed areas, uh, the other side of the lake. 
Um, so, as I have mentioned in the last couple of episodes from Hysteria Valley, uh, I do want uh, you guys to get involved with this build and this series. So, if you've got any suggestions for... Uh, themes or rides or anything that you want to see built in this park please do let me know make sure you comment them down uh, in this video um, as I do read the comments a lot of the suggestions um, from this park and the studios park and a few other bits and pieces have come from you guys so please do get involved I, I really want to make this like a community project so if you've got any ideas please like, drop them down and I'll promise you I will try and answer every single one and, and try and incorporate as many as I can into the park um, I say moving forward, I really want this to be a community effort. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much if you are getting involved or have already got involved in this park at some point. Um, so let's talk about other bits on the channel at the moment. So we are doing a lot of Jurassic World content, uh, Jurassic World Evolution content. Um, it's not doing amazing for the channel, I'll be honest. I mean, there's quite a lot of people playing it at the moment. So I wasn't expecting it to do amazing things, um, but I'm enjoying playing it, so that, that content will continue. Um, but don't fret, there's going to be a lot more Planet Coaster and Park Tech and all that kind of good stuff coming soon as well. Um, and if you haven't checked out the video recently, um, there's still very strong rumours going around that there's going to be a, a Planet Coaster update coming within the next couple of weeks. Uh, the timelines all fit and it makes sense for there to be something uh, towards the end of June, July kind of time. Um, so as soon as that's announced and released, don't we'll cover all that like we always do with the last uh, couple of updates, uh, and that seems to give a good boost to the Planet Coast community as well. When there's, there's an update, uh, everyone sort of comes out the woodwork to check out the new stuff, and uh, it gives a good boost to the channel as well. So that'll be exciting, and if and when that happens. Uh, but stay tuned. As soon as there's any, any more news, I'll let you know. Um, it's currently E3 is still going on for a couple of days. At the time of this video recording, um, so there's still a chance something could be released at E3. I was hoping it would be released during the PC gaming show, but um, alas, it wasn't. Uh, there was a very short section on Frontier uh, and Jurassic uh, World Evolution, um, but it was very, very brief. Uh, there wasn't really any meat to it. Um, so yeah, there's still time, so hopefully there'll be something released. I, whether it's going to be a tie into Jurassic World, or like a, a very small kind of dinosaur pack, I'm not sure. Uh, but I, I keep looking on the Steam database website. There's basically a site out there that you can um, check out all the behind-the-scenes stuff, basically, when any game on Steam is updated or there's any sort of development builds or anything added, that, that, that kind of back-end stuff that... It's quite boring, to be fair. Um, but if you if you do look on that, you can see there's been quite a bit of uh, activity on Plank Coaster over the past sort of two weeks. A lot of updates to the development build, um, which which sort of hints towards they're testing something out in there. Um, and with the amount of changes and different uploads that is going on, it, it does seem to be something a bit more meaty than just a bug fix update. Uh, but I could be completely wrong. It could just be like a five gigabyte uh, five megabyte update that's fixing a texture or something I, I don't know we, we genuinely don't know and that is my only complaint that i really have with frontier is that they are very secretive with updates i wish they were just a bit more open because they know what the community want i mean the the community is very vocal with what we want so um just give us a bone now and again like frontier i mean just just let us know what you've got planned because um, I know a lot of people would be interested to just literally just hear somebody on a video or on a on a blog post or a forum post at least just saying this is what we're currently working on, this is what you've got to look forward to over the next sort of twelve months, um, and I I really think it would encourage people's um, oh, not mo motivation is probably the wrong word, but their excitement for the game because uh, it does seem to have dwindled a little bit over the past sort of six months, which is a shame because it is a fantastic game that you can do so much with um, but it just needs to be a little bit of communication from Frontier to, to um, confirm to people that updates are still coming which I'm sure they are but I think some people are just falling out of love a little bit with the game because there has been uh, a lot of a lot of bugs and things that are waiting to be fixed and they seem to wait until there's a DLC to fix them which I guess that's just their way of doing things but I personally don't really like that I wish they'd just get it fixed as and when they need to 
Uh, but anyway, enough about that. Let's, let's fingers crossed there'll be something coming soon, uh, and we'll find out over the next couple of weeks, hopefully. Um, so generally, guys, that is about it for today's episode. Um, it was just a very quick look at this Harbour Boat Tours, which is a half transport ride and half kind of just, um, well a ride around a lake really um, so that's it for today thank you ever so much for watching if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel and like this video uh, any questions queries comments or suggestions for this or anything else here on pause games drop those down in the comments as well and i will try and answer every single one um, so thank you guys ever so much for watching there'll be loads 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 more planet coast stuff coming over the next couple of weeks and loads more jurassic world stuff coming so if you do like the channel like the stuff we're doing please watch the jurassic world stuff give it a share give it a like and uh, hopefully you can get the word out there for pause games all right thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>